I am driving and I am just smiling because I am so grateful to God for just a fresh start. You know, just just, just a new start. I'm I am I am I'm just in total gratitude and you know I'm moving this weekend and I have a lot going on. Okay, I have two big moves that I'm doing at the same time this weekend. And honestly, you know, you might not be moving this weekend or maybe you're moving soon or maybe you're not. But, you know, I'm just so grateful that God gives us a new start each day. Each day that you're able to open your eyes and start a new day is God granting us new new mercies and new blessings every day. It's just such a blessing. Um you know, that we all can get a fresh start each day. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. And the Bible say, forget the former things for, forget the former things that I'm doing a new, a new thing in you. And so whatever happened yesterday, that happened yesterday. That's now in the past. And all we can really do is take that as a learning lesson. And when I just think about just all the moves and all the mistakes I made in the past, I'm like, I, I take those as learning lessons. Like some things didn't go the way I had planned them to go. Some things didn't plan out the way I thought they should. Like when I moved to a certain place, I thought things were going to be a certain way, and they they wasn't as though I had planned. And see, see, and see, here's the lesson. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You know, the, even the if I was saying Proverbs, how. We as men, we as humans, we can make plans, but it's the Lord that directs our path. My God, my God. So even though I probably made some mistakes in the past, or even though I probably had plans and my plans didn't work out the way I thought, but then I go back to the word, all things work together for the good, for those who love the Lord and were called according to his purpose. So you know what? Even though I made those mistakes, even though I planned some things and they didn't plan out as well or whatever, guess what? All of that is so it could work for my good this weekend. All of that. See, I I ooh, I had to go through that season. These last three years, I had to go through that in order for me to get to this point today. My God. Mm, 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 mm. My God. And when I tell you God that came and uprooted the whole situation, say, uh uh-uh, uh, sister, we about to give you a fresh new star all aboard. And I say, you know what, God, I thank you. I thank you. I just thank you for a fresh start. And you know, this being gratitude today and thank God for a fresh start. You might not be moving physically, but Every day you wake up, it's a new start. It's a new day. You can get it right. You can get your life right with Christ. You can get your life right with a family member, a friend. You can start over if you're on your health and wellness journey. You can start over if you're on your hair journey. Just take yesterday, forget the former things. And know that God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing in this season, in this fall season for me. And, And Father, I thank you. I am just I just had to come up here and express my gratitude today because he is doing a new thing and I am just forever grateful. I am. And and and, and let me just say this. If you get a new start, sometimes some people look at, oh man, I've been set back because now I gotta do this or now I gotta do that. Your setbacks can be your setup. Now, I know y'all done heard that before, but I had to say it again. Sometimes your setback is only putting you in position for your setup, your next biggest setup. So it might seem like, ah, oh, man, I, I've been pulled back. But think about the analogy of a slingshot. When you put something in a slingshot... You have to pull the slingshot back. Oh, my God. 
Now, this is a revelation. I can get out this car and shout off of that. You have to pull the slingshot back. But when they, when, when you release, when you release that slingshot, it's going to put you further than you were, where you were supposed to be, where you have supposed to have been at this point in your life. Put you probably even past that or where you should have been at this point in your life. My God, that's a word. I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. So anyway. Those know the words of prayer who serve God, y'all keep me in prayer. Over the next couple of weeks, y'all keep me in prayer. If you don't know the Lord, if you don't be praying to Jesus Christ, just think good thoughts. <laughs> I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the video. Bye.